this is gonna be like I think it is it's my final haul video as far as last minute things I needed to get before I deliver baby Ava and I made my final checklist so I just want to show you guys a few things here and there no baby stuff it's more for me when I go to the hospital and after um, leaving the hospital to go home so I went to Walmart doll store and Asian store too to get groceries little things here and there and um, hopefully it'll last for two weeks because I am really tired I'm really drained as you guys can tell I'm sick I was gonna get Sudafed but it's a scary I read my book that my doctor recommended if I do happen to get sick a cold flu whatever Sudafed are safe halls are safe but I just put back to Sudafed I'm just I don't know I see him on Tuesday I'll double check again but I just end up buying hauls, which I finally have right now. Um, so yeah, I needed some last minute things for myself. Um, just because when I'm home, I just don't think I will have people who will assist me or know what I want exactly. So I might as well be prepared just in case. At least it's going to be easy access because I have it home already, you know? So, um... I needed some more PJs, and I didn't mention, um, I initially had pajamas to wear when I go home, but it is a light blue color, so just on the safe side, I found a darker version at Walmart, though, different brand, pretty expensive, but so pretty, I couldn't resist, I never heard this brand before, but they're pretty high-end, because for like, what was it, 18 bucks, I think, a set, looks like this, of course, I got the extra large, this is a nice dark black with white leaf patterns, or you want to call it. it. Looks pretty comfy. Comes with the pants as well. It's really nice, so I bought this. So this is my alternative to wear um, when I leave. So I might put two sets, who knows, I don't know. And, of course, I do... Well, I threw away my old PJs that I've had for years and years and years. And as you know, I'm like a hoarder. I just keep things knowing that I won't wear it anymore. And it just sits there forever. So, it's time for me to, like, let go of certain stuff. And it's just raggedy and just holes and tears. And I still wear them. <clears throat> uh, hey, Jules. And then some other stuff I got. I was going to get the same brand, like that one. This one brand at Walmart, it's called, um... Celestial Dreams, but they're pricey. But um, they had a gown too. But I was like, uh, another eighteen dollars? No, Rinda, no. So anyway, I opted for um, what's it called? White Stag. That name is so weird. I don't know what it is. It sounds fruity. You know what I mean? But um, I've worn clothes from them before, and it's cheap. It's only like nine bucks. So. I am loving these long gowns so it's comfy and especially when you're pregnant you don't want to like layer yourself with extra clothing or anything you just want a simple outfit and one piece outfits are like the best and maybe I'm turning to a granny I don't know but I'm loving these gowns long t-shirts or whatever you want to call them nine bucks and it got shapes on it and they're uh, It'll be comfy. I might wear one of these tonight. And, of course, I got another one. Got an owl on it. Also an extra large. And I also got a PJ set from them. Also in black, just in case. And, you know, I really needed, like, new PJ sets. This is also from White Stag. Ten bucks. The pants... And the top is really, really, really cute. Got a bear on it. I did try it on because I was going to get a double X, but double X was too loose looking, too baggy looking. And I was like, I'll wear this. My belly pops out, but it's like not tight and not too loose. And the pink one. This is cute. Sheeps also. 
Also by White Stag. Did I show you the top right? Here's the top. <coughs> I love this. Sheeps. And Ava's born here to sheep, I believe. Also got slippers. I've never owned slippers. I guess I don't think I've had. Probably when I was younger, but a lot of people mentioned get slippers too, because I'll be walking around in the hospital too, I'm sure. But it's getting cold, they're comfy, and it's so adorable. It has one of these like rubbery thing so you don't slip and stuff so I was happy I almost couldn't see like where's my size and this one said um where did it go eight to ten and a half and this, they're by a brand called slipper socks so they had a lot of different designs and stuff I opted for plain gray and star so yay we taking that to the hospital for sure and then of course I did get myself a little notebook because um I will be writing stuff in here before I head to the hospital Real soon, probably tonight. Things I need to ask the doctor, things I need to ask the lactation lady or whatever before I leave because there's so many shit I don't know. Of course, you can Google, but it just feels so much better knowing you can answer right then and there from a professional in your face because there could be a lot of bullshit online too, you just don't know. But, um, just preparing myself for motherhood before I have more panic attacks, which I already been having. Anyway, through this whole pregnancy process, but yeah, notebooks can be your best friend, being organized. Um, and then I should have checked my closet. I think I do have, but whatever, it will be useful in the future or something. But um, I'm a pad person. I'm not a tampon person. But um, I just got a generic brand this time, Equate, just the overnight thick ones like this. In case I start bleeding a lot, I don't know. A lot of people say you do. Some people don't. I don't know. But just to be in the safe side, I'm going to bring a couple with me to wear when I leave the hospital. I'm sure they will supply you with one, but I don't know what kind or which brand. So a lot of people mention that you should. Some people say you shouldn't, but every hospital is different. And when I went to the maternity tour, they did mention this hospital... Is not a hotel, so bring toiletries. So that's a thing, thing, thing to get certain stuff for yourself. And then I did need um, new sets of socks. I'm one of those people who loses socks, who buy socks like every year, every few months. But um, I want to make sure I had comfy socks too. And I hate wearing socks in bed, but just in case I'm cold, I have new clean socks to wear. And I just want to deliver baby in my socks. If I do, keep my socks on in nice, clean, white socks. Nothing special. Just by Hanes um, ankle socks. Yep. And then, I also got some snacks because your lips get really dry. Your throat gets dry. Anything that's fruity is always going to make you feel better whether you're pregnant or not. But, <coughs> yeah. I'm going to be bored. I want to chew on something. I want to bite on something. I don't know. Jolly Ranchers. I haven't had this in years, but the thought of Jolly Ranchers and it's sour makes my mouth water. So, I'm going to put this in my little tote bag. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm dying. And also hard candy. I love butterscotch. It's sweet. This might probably make me cough, but just something on the side just in case. And then I also got more batteries. I never, like, care about batteries until all this baby gadget and stuff. They require batteries, the vibrator, the musical thingy-majiggy, double A's, triple A's, and it's I C. And then, of course, I got an extra comb. I love this one. I have a pink one somewhere. But this is to take to the hospital, too, in case I forget that one. At least I have one already in the bag. Instead of when the day happens, find my brush, put it in. I think that's the last thing I'm going to think about when I make God knows if my water breaks here or I have pain. I'm just going to grab my bag and leave. That's what I'm going to do. And, um, this is a bowl where you get at the Asian store to clean vegetables and stuff. But I just thought it would be nifty and useful because when I wash um, her baby bottles... Um, after rinsing them and whatever, it'll lay in here for a while and then it'll go in my other rack from Munchkin. I showed you where it hangs with the little hooks and stuff. Just, but this is just nice. 
I grew up with these kind of stuff, a whole bunch in the house, but I wanted my own, so this is specifically only for Ava's bottle, and it comes with a strainer too, so it's meant for vegetables and wood cleaning stuff for you cook and whatever. And of course, Kim Pink. And then I want to show you guys, Baby Daddy did get me my boppy that I wanted. Um, hot mess. And speaking of snacks, when I'm officially done, I will show you my hospital bag, including my lunch bag. But um, and speaking of bags, I did decide to buy a tote type thing because my that black bag that. I that I'm pointing at, that's what I got from my hospital that I work for, and that's where I'm delivering my baby as well. It's part of the hospital. Um, a few months ago, we all got this nice nifty bag and some candy or whatever to, for appreciation month something to all employees, whatever. Every year is different. This year is a tote. It's like a lunch bag or whatever, but it's pretty big. I thought that would be enough for my um, clothes, my belongings, personal stuff, my little snacks. To think about what the crap I'm putting in, it's not going to work. So I'm still taking that bag, but that bag will fit perfectly inside here too, amongst some other stuff that I will put in. So basically, ignoring that black bag, just think about me, this bag, and my hospital bag. So it'll be perfect. Um, so this is what I got to Walmart. Pretty pricey. It's by um, White Flag also, I think. No, I'm sorry. Faded Glory. I've, I've had clothes from them too, pretty cute, pretty cheap too, but 18 bucks, but I wanted to make sure that I won't only just use this bag to the hospital, but I'll be using this bag in the near future, traveling into the gym. So, nice and flowers, so like me and Stark, it's like, it's just nice. And it's big enough to stuff hell of shit in there, and I really like it. Comes with this buckle strap here. Very sturdy, and also with this right here, if you want to hold on to this instead. So, yeah, but anyway, if you guys can see, um, there's snacks on here, too. Speaking of Babe Daddy earlier, he did buy me, um, the boppy, finally. And then he also bought me a huge box of diapers and a huge box of baby wipes from Pampers, I believe. It's downstairs. And then speaking of snacks, there's more stuff I will put in just because... I'm gonna have cravings. I'm not sure what the hospital provides you, water, ice, whatever. I don't know, but it's just like that shit that I already like available to me. So me bugging the nurses. Um Sprite, anything with citrus will make me feel better. And I got some snacks on the side. I initially bought snacks like a few weeks ago, but I ended up eating them all for lunch and work and stuff, whatever. Crackers, Ritz, um, granola bars or Walmart brand, so this will help. So that's what's supposedly supposed to go into the tote. So I'll keep that tote separate with all snacks and then the my Walmart tote that will have my pajamas and stuff in there. But this is the boppy pink. It's very comfy. Like I would totally sleep on this. So yeah, I have so many videos to do before I deliver the baby. But I think yeah, I have so much to do, so many ideas that I feel like I won't have enough time. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I keep thinking I forgot to mention something else in this video. And that's about it. That's pretty much the stuff that I bought today. I mean, there's a video that I wanted to do about things that you should have around the house as a parent, as a new parent. Um, another video is my drawers of how I organize Ava's clothes and how I have been putting things in which has been done a while back and um, there were like more I just can't think right now so this is probably like my final haul video until baby Ava comes out and I buy more things I haven't gotten any more baby stuff because I'm done with that if I do need anything else in the future there will definitely be a video on that but um this is like my final stuff for Ava for myself and yeah so I hope you guys enjoy this video and pray that I feel better because at least my throat doesn't hurt anymore but um I'm exhausted I am exhausted just wanted to show you what I look like right now
There's my belly. There's little Ava. I'm wearing the jeans from Kohl's. But you'll, you'll guys see it in the vlog. So, there you go. Alright, bye guys.